Well, it's another one of my videos, starting in Breadbury. And today we're gonna to head east through Romley, Compstall, and see how far we can get. What a busy spring morning here on Lower Bents Lane. Bradbury shops there. Always a fantastic view as you come over this rise. And you can see the Peak District open up in front here. Yes, mate. Not in the most talkative of moods this morning, but uh, let's just eat up some miles. We've done half a one already. Once again, we find ourselves by the new flats. Chad Kirk Chapel that way. And we've already done quite a few walks along here. So today I'm gonna to avoid doing the canal and I'm gonna walk through Romilly itself. Right. This ain't the place I typically walk. I used to drive to the Aldi over there and that's about it. So here we go. There's a war memorial there. It's an old pub, the Duke of York. And there we have the signs welcoming us to Romley. Welcome home. The friendship. So this is Romley people. Not a place I've spent a lot of time. Although we have done the charity shops here quite a few times. 1840. Old church. Everything's tickety boo. Nice little quirky place. Lots of independent shops. Church there. On Church Lane. There's Romilly Station. And the Romilly Arms. One charity shop, two charity shops, three charity shops. Traditional old fruit and veg shop. Another charity shop over there. <laughs> and another one, the local shop for local people. Beautiful. Look at all these out already. Only a little park, but it's quite pleasant. Full of daffodils and crocuses. A dog walker. Let's go and say hello to the daffodils. It's been a while. Hello, daffodils. How are you? Welcome back. Can we get out around the other side here? The sound of happy playing children. Seems to be a lot of pubs still existing out here. The stock dove in front of me. It seems like since the smoking ban and whatever, pubs are all shut in. And 30 minutes in, along Comstall Road, we've walked a mile and a half together. A lovely day. Some bloody lovely properties along here. Proper Victorian like. I must say it's a lot quicker when you're driving. Love this time of year, look at that. Beautiful cherry blossom. It's getting warm. Is that a house? Electricity substation. Is someone living in the electricity substation? This part of the world coming up is called Cherry Tree, as is evidenced by Cherry Tree House, Cherry Tree Lane, and all the cherry trees. And at this point, at Corker and Drive, we're going to leave civilization. We're going to go through Redbrow Wood, and then we're going to get on the River Etherow. Yeah, and continue heading east. I'll tell you what I watched last night. The trailer for the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series. It looks fantastic. Yes, please. Wow. 
Wow. This is actually someone's garage, I think. Anyway, yeah, you can't beat a bit of Ewan McGregor. Can you hear the birds tweeting? This is more like it. I'm not a great fan of walking along noisy roads, if I'm honest. This is so much more calming for the soul. Red brow wood, badgers, nuttatches, long tail tits. A good bit of kit to have, obviously, is a compass. Just so that we can figure out which way is north. There we are. And then bring up our map so we know which way we're going. That way. This is another unplanned walk. Just as all my walks are pretty much spontaneous, I just end up in places and go, let's walk. But I've not brought a drink with me. Wow, this is all a bit down here. It's all downhill from here. This will be because we're heading downhill into the valley of the river Etherow. I think I can see a sewage works up ahead. Just through the trees. All right, yeah. Wow. I'm going back down this way along the river, but I just thought I'd come to this bit where it's clear. It's funny where you end up, isn't it? Hey, look, the wild garlic's back as well. Woo! Fantastic. Yes! Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Wow. I've ended up running. You guys watched anything good this week? I watched Peter Rabbit and Peter Rabbit 2. And considering the kids' films, they were pretty good. Fantastic, signs of life. So the other row, let's give a bit of information about it. It's a tributary of the Goit. It is also one of the two rivers that join that Stockport and create the Mersey. It's 19 miles long. The top of part is known as Longdendale. That's where me and Andrew went. And you may also remember another video where Coral and I did Etherow Park and we waded across said river. Well, just as I approach Etherow Country Park, I've walked an hour and just short of three miles. Oh, something's been demolished here on my left. Was it an old mill? Right. Valley Way, Goit Way. I think we're going to stick with Goit Way because we've already done Etherow Park together. It's always good to do something new. That day when Coral and I got in a bit of a pickle up the bank that was just up here. Leaving Comstall, entering Marple Bridge now. Tell you what, you can't beat a bit of walking. Certainly warms you up. <laughs> All right, my plan is to now come off the main road and go left up Coat Green Lane to Coat Green. Past the Northumberland Arms. I never even noticed there was a church here before. Jubilee Methodist Church, built 1893. Yes, mate. Look at the yellow beetle. Just like Bumblebee from Transformers. Juke. It's crazy how quickly you're out of the town and into the countryside at this end of Manchester. It's even a little play area up here at the top. Who remembers at the start of the year when I said I was gonna walk 2,022 miles in 2022? I do. Remember I said it was 5.5 miles a day? Well, currently I'm on 5.3 miles a day, 69 days into the year. That means I've walked 
365 miles already. God, this is steep. <laughs> <laughs> King of the world. All right. That's three and a half miles walk this morning. As we continue up here to lane ends. I always like that old adage that anywhere is within walking distance if you have the time. Nice. More stone cottages and farms and what have you now up here. A lot different from back down there in the town. I'm loving the fact that on this walk there's loads of little cut throughs, little public footpaths that I didn't even know were here. Mountain bike crossing. What? I've ended up in some sort of mountain bike park. Is this part of the footpath? What the hell? Should we pretend we're on a mountain bike? Whoa, they've got a jump here. That's mad. Come on, let's run across this and pretend we're on a bike. Vroom, vroom. This is fantastic. <laughs> now, where's the footpath? Madness. Do you have to pay to use this? These are some crazy jumps, these for the bikes. Don't get me doing this. I'm more of a road bike man. Absolutely brilliant. If not a little steep. Is this your starting post? How mad is this? Driven past this every day for the last week and God knows how many times before and never knew it was here. Well, that's four miles walked everyone, four whole miles. Now then, this public footpath, as far as I know, is new. Let's follow it. Which way to go? Could have done with bringing a drink. I'll have a cup of tea in a bit. From up here, guys, now, if you look on the horizon, you can see Stockport there, the flats on Lancashire Hill. And just behind that telegraph pole is Werneth Low. And let's assume that this is the footpath that we're following. Next to these cesspits. Whatever they are. I'm looking at you through the glass. Don't know how much time's passed. All I know is that it feels like forever. And no one ever tells you that forever feels like home. Sitting all alone inside your head. Four and a half miles now, and it's all wide open spaces. It's a little bit windy up here too. We're certainly not in Romley anymore, are we? You can even see the peak distance over there. That would explain why this house is called Kinder View. Because it's there. Just as I come up to a sign saying that this is a quiet lane. Oh, well, to be fair, that's been five miles that we walk now, so let's call it a day. It's been great to have you along with me. Until next time, take care.